So what does she do when she's in debt and about to lose her sons because the creditor said, if you don't pay me, I'm going to take your sons and make them my slaves. What does she do? She goes to the man of God. She's in debt and she goes to the man of God. I don't know why she did that. He ain't got no money. He's not a financial expert. He's not a financial planner. Why would she go to the man of God? He, he's just a prophet. Has it, have you ever wondered why people bring all kinds of non quote unquote spiritual problems to the man of God? The stuff that people bring to the preacher and to the church, it would blow your mind because that ain't got nothing to do with what we're supposed to be doing. But they bring the problems to the man of God. Why? Number one, because they trust him. Number two, because his advice is usually free. Ding, 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 ding. Because the man of God knows people who know stuff. He may not know it, but he knows people who know stuff. It amazes me how somebody will call and say, I need this, and they didn't know that the person who can answer their request and solve their problem was sitting one row back, two seats over. He knows people who know stuff, and then he knows the God and how to get in touch with the God that has stuff. And he knows how to handle stuff. 